Hello, wonderful person. I'm Cindy James, and this is the Cindy James Galactic Podcast. Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to Philadelphia International Airport. I am in a little pod recording the Power of June podcast, so please excuse, if you can, the background noise and noises, and let them add to the ambience of the Power of June. The Power of June, here it is June, the month of June. June is said to be named after the Roman goddess Juno, who was the complement of the god Jupiter. And Juno is charged with the, being the protector of women and children. Isn't that so beautiful? The protector of women and children. And since every child comes of a woman, doesn't matter what the gender assignment is or classification or, classification or none, this is what it really means to protect women, the feminine force, the birthing force, the force that holds new life growing within the body, brings that new life into form, brings a soul into a human experience, and those precious children that are newly on their way. Today, when I think about protection and what that truly means, I think about space, space to experience ourselves safely, securely, space to be able to express ourselves without derision, without hatred. I mean, isn't that wonderful right now? Like the, the security buzzers going on? I think that whenever I'm doing a healing session with anyone else, and I'm going to say it applies to podcasts because this is a healing as well, is that anything that comes in is support for the energy that's needed. I remember having a client once who was um, in one of the buildings at the September 11th explosions when the planes came into the, the buildings. And during this person's session, just for the period of time when the energy session was going on, my neighbor had a tree service cutting down two huge trees. And the cacophony, the loudness, the sound of that during the healing session and if I hadn't been in my presence, I might have thought that was a distraction rather than an asset perfectly designed for her healing. And the minute I closed my hands and closed the energy session, the, the sound stopped. That happened so many times. So even in that moment when the buzzer went off, when I was talking about the space to feel secure and safe, can you, in this moment, take some breaths into your body and find out what feeling safe and secure feels like to you? Not means. I mean, I might not feel safe and secure with what's going on around me and recording a podcast, but I have found that place in myself, my deep knowing of my infinite nature, and I encourage you to do that right now with your breath and with the sounds in this podcast supporting you. And then taking some deep breaths, if it hasn't been that easy for you to find that deeper, secure, safe place in yourself. Imagine how hard that might be for someone who um, has experienced something extraordinarily violent or traumatic or is living in a war zone or has just had their classmates murdered by gun. I, I share this with you not for the shock value of it or to intensify the pain of it, but to highlight that it is possible for us to actually serve and transform the underlying energies that cause these events by first finding out how to feel secure and safe and to have space to experience ourselves, to experience ourselves with childlike wonder, with great faith in the grown-ups around us or the others around us with the knowing that we come here to experiment and to play and to love and to learn 
and that learning is joyful. It's not something to be regimented and squashed. Oh, God bless us humans. We do try, but we're often right church, wrong pew, if you've ever heard that saying. Like we're in the right orbit, but we're not quite at the right level of where we need to be. I believe that this month, the energy of the month of June, is giving us the energy to be able to emanate from our form a sense of power, a sense of space, a sense of security, a sense of authoritative warrior-like energy that says this space is sacred, that no lower vibrational energies can come in to disturb me, nor to disturb the wonderment of new souls. These new souls that are coming in today, and I have the great blessing to be part of that process for many, for many in my life. These new souls, regardless of where they are in the child age spectrum, are coming because they know they have a task here on planet Earth. And the task is to remember the power of the imagination, which is synonymous with the God creative power within our souls. To remember that imagination, to unleash it, to have fun with it, and to create a global environment that springs from our personal environment of harmony, well-being, inspired ideas, new ways of being that work for everyone, that play for everyone. This is not idle chatter. This is not wishful thinking. This is absolute, infinite, universal truth that we are here to experience love and relationship and love has no bounds and that the children coming in now and the feminine energy the feminine force that surrenders to love and serves love with the warrior spirit of a mother bear protecting her young that in the month of june whenever it is you're listening to this you can access that power of the energy known as the goddess Juno, the, pr the protector of women and children, who was the complement to the god Jupiter. And Jupiter is the, the energy of expansion and of all things possible. Those two together are going to help us bring to ourselves, to those we love, to our communities, to our countries, to our world, to our solar system, to our galaxy, just what we long for. I had an acupuncture session with, um, I was the recipient of the session um, with a dear friend of mine. Her name is Andrea White. I don't think she would mind me sharing this with you. She, you can look her website up, Pin Tuition. It's healing just to look at it. She does all sorts of modalities. She's worked with people with addictions. She's worked with people who are in the grieving process. She does amazing healings um, for families and friends that have gone through loss in something called resonant gathering and knowing that i was going to be leaving for for france today that's why i'm in philadelphia international airport and knowing that there's a lot going on and that packing is the thing that really does stymie me people sweet lord i texted my youngest today and said i'm packing for to travel for 18 days to france could you imagine and my youngest said, oh, Lord, Mom, just take it all. I can't imagine what your apartment looks like. So I also needed, I needed, I knew that I needed some support. So I, I messaged her, and she came, and she did a house call today for me. And she was feeling my energies, taking my pulse, feeling different points, talking about what I wanted to work with. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I started to call my mom's name. My mom left this realm um, seven years plus at the time of the temporary now recording of this podcast in the energy of the eternal now. And I just started to cry. I was like, where's my mom? I have the great blessing to be getting married to the most beautiful, extraordinary, divine right partner for me, for us in the following month of July. And I was just like, I want my mom to be there. Where's my mom? And 
I've been doing some healing around really knowing what the motherhood identity means in truth, in the freedom of that, in the longing of that relationship of that who nurtures us as we grow. And I soon thereafter realized that where she was was with me, so present in the spirit energy, and she will be there. And Andrea shared with me, because she's a young mom, her youngest, I got to be present for her birth as well, and of course be present in the energy of both of her pregnancies. Since she's actively involved in this business of mothering with a four and seven year old, she's had an epiphany of a perspective on what moms and children need. And that's where I come with this energy today to share with you through her, since we're all connected in this garden of mystic lovers, is that we need to provide space, secure, inspired, supported, new, enlightened, enlivened energy and space for our children and for the mothers of the children on this planet and for the fathers and the parents and I get to be a stepmom, like as we call them steppy moms, for all of those parent figures, grandparents, teachers, and especially I think for teachers, I think the educational system is broken in so many ways and one of the ways that just hurts my heart is that those that are in the stead of taking care and guiding and teaching our young children are not given the resources in their own teaching or their own life from the community, from the salary, from the accolades and the praise and the opportunities that they need to be able to be present for the quality of souls that are coming into the body right now. And these souls are, as I said, charged with great transformation. Our precious humanity, I believe, is destined to transform in harmony and grow and to heal our precious Mother Earth, but it's not going to come from the same thinking that has gotten us into the painful soup. So I offer this month of June healing also for the teachers, for the guides, for the parents, for all of those that have the responsibility, the ability to respond to the youth of today, to give them space to find their connection to their infinite self, their secure self, their safe self, their unleashed imagination. And so for the next few moments, just taking your breath, cultivating it in and out, 360 degrees using your imagination, which is the divine creative force, and letting energy come in from every bit of your body not just in through your nose and through oxygen, but through all of the air that touches every bit of you. Call it in, suck it in, suckle it in as energetic mother's milk into your body to give you just what you need and then let go and share your longing for your life and humanity on the out breath. Taking in everything you need plus and sharing your deep longing providing this space and grace and security and safety for yourself, for the mothers, the parents of the world, and the precious children of the world. Breathing in and breathing out. And again, let the sounds be part of the healing.
And if you're deep in meditation, you can just pause this and continue. Or you can bring yourself back by taking conscious breaths again into your form. Noticing how you feel. Do you feel more grounded, more whole, more powerful, more able to connect with what you need and what everyone and everything needs and to be a vehicle for that? just by your very presence in this moment. I tell you with all the authority vested in me by the infinite nature of love, you are that and more. And the sounds that you heard through this podcast today, there was one point during the quiet meditation I heard a child yelling and I record these on GarageBand and I saw the, the squiggles go very high at that point. And I thought about the children on our planet right now. And even your child traveling through the eternal now into the past that needs a force that says, I'm here. I see you. I'm with you. Be you. Be yourself. There's a movie called, I think it's called Just Maybe with Ryan Reynolds and Anna Ferris. And the mom, I think her name is Lorraine. She was on Saturday Night Live and she's the mom in that. And she was also in Airplane. I think her first name is Julie in real life. Well, she sings this song to Ryan Reynolds. And my dear friend, Gary, who skedaddled last year, my best friend's husband, he loved that movie and they all love the family. <laughs> the family all loved it and so did I when she sings to him, be yourself, be yourself. And I just say, let's, let's sing that to one another, be yourself, not who we want them to be. Because when we really are our true selves, that harm and hurt that we see happening dissolves. Happy people don't hurt others. People who feel free to be themselves don't isolate or cut others out or act in ways that perpetuate the delusion that there's not enough for all of us to eat and breathe and drink healthy water, air, food, and experiences. Dear wonderful people, thank you for being with me from Philadelphia International Airport and on my pre-flight to Paris, France before going to Brittany for an artist retreat and for your willingness to add your presence, your light, your love to create space for real protection, real security and safety for our own inner child and for the children all over. Love and blessings, dear wonderful, wonderful person. Mwah. If you enjoyed this episode, wonderful person, and you'd like to share the love, the power, and the possibilities, please post about it on social media and share it with your people. I'd really appreciate that. And to find out more about the Galactic Council of Women, all genders welcome, or how to join or work with me one-on-one, go to galacticcounciljoin.com.